Hi, it's Matt from TopWindowsTutorials.com and VideoGamePerfection.com and today I'm looking at a tool or emulator called DOSBox. Now DOSBox is a tool that people use for running old PC games from the 90s or earlier on more modern versions of Windows. So there are some tutorials already for DOSBox on YouTube but none of them really take you through the whole process of starting from scratch and getting a game up and fully running with joypad controls and all the other nice stuff we like in modern versions of Windows. So the game I'm going to be concentrating on is oops, this game here, Network Q Rally. Now this is a CD game from 1994 and over on my computer I've got the CD in the F drive here and so we're ready to go. Now the first thing I'm going to do is go into the C drive and I'm going to make a directory. New folder. Now this can be made anywhere on your PC but for the sake of this example it's easy if I just put it on the C drive here and I'm going to call it DOSBox-C. Okay, this folder will be the C drive that the DOSBox machine actually uses. So anything we place in here will be on the DOSBox C drive. But you'll see later that will should make more sense. I'm going to pop this utility here called JoyTest and I'll show you where to get that in the notes. I'm going to copy that into this folder here and you'll see why later. Okay, so now I'm going to start DOSBox up. And this is DOSBox. If you've never used the command prompt or DOS before, you might be a little confused as to what this all is. Well, what we do in DOS is we type the commands in rather than clicking with the mouse. So the first command I'm going to issue is mount. And I'm going to say mount C for the C drive and I want to mount that to C colon slash DOSBox dash C and press enter. Okay so now I've got a C drive mounted as that directory so if I type in C colon to change to the C drive and then type DIR for directory then we can see there's that joy test program that I placed in this folder Okay, so that takes care of the hard drive and as you install games they'll be installed into this virtual hard drive here. So now we need to mount the CD-ROM drive. So if you remember the drive letter was F so I need to do mount D that'll be the drive letter it's in DOSBox and then I want to make it F colon slash then I need to add a TAC T CD ROM and then a TAC Use CD and a zero and then a TAC IO CTL. Okay, and that's mounted the drive. All, all these commands can be automated later, but I'm going to type them out in full for this tutorial uh, just so you know them and you can get going with DOSBox. Right, so now we've got a D drive. If I type in D colon, I can change to the D drive. I type DIR again. And I'm looking for an install.exe or BAT. And there it is, install exe. Anything that says exe, BAT or COM next to it, you can run. So I'm going to type in install and press enter. OK, now we're getting somewhere, so select keyboard layout, obviously British for me. Then I'm going to select a full installation. Notice I'm selecting these with the keyboard, not the mouse, because the mouse probably won't work at this point. So I'm using the up and down arrow keys. I've gone to full and then I'll press enter. And C slash rally C will be fine, so I'll press enter again and it shouldn't take long to install. OK, great, that installed. Now it'll run a sound setup program. Now 
Now this didn't work for me when I tried this before and it looks like it's failed again which is unfortunate so I'll just press the Windows key to unlock my mouse and then I'm going to close DOSBox and just start it up again and unfortunately since I haven't automated those commands I'll have to enter them again OK, great. So back onto our C drive now and I'll do a DIR and now we can see we've got this Rally C folder or directory. So to change into that folder we just type CD for change directory space Rally C and press enter. Great, now if I do a DIR again I can now see I've got this set sound program and I'm just going to run that and press enter and this time it works so I think on this one I can actually use the mouse I'll choose select and configure MIDI music driver and then I'm just going to go for the Creatives Labs sound blaster and I'm going to click on attempt to configure automatically and great that works OK now I'm going to go to select and configure digital audio driver and this time the only option is the sound blaster so I'll click on that attempt to configure automatically and great that's worked okay that wasn't always as easy as that back in the day but who's complaining so we'll click on done now and that's done so now if I type in rally as in rally.bat that we've got up there and press enter and fantastic the game's running so I'll just skip the intro and there we have it the game's running I'm just going to mute the audio just so it doesn't go over my commentary. So we've got the game up and running but we still haven't tackled the issue of controllers. So that's what we'll do next. So I'll see you in part two for configuring a controller.